This episode is already epic. We have a Soviet space-themed stamp on the table, and I'm really excited to explore this one. I know that it's a Soviet stamp because of the letters CCCP, which we'll discuss in a moment. And I can see the year 1975. At the bottom right is the logo used for this particular space mission. The value was worth 12 kopecks, which we can see in the bottom left. And also here we can see a postmark that looks something like this. The town name is cut off, but the year is visible, 1975. This is a large stamp measuring 66 by 33 millimeters. So CCCP is really SSSR, and that's because the Russian language uses the Cyrillic alphabet, which is different from the Latin or Roman alphabet that English uses, for instance. So what looks to be a C is actually the sound of an S, and what looks to be a P really is the sound of an R. And you'll easily find a number of stamps from the former Soviet Union with that CCCP on it which stood for Soyuz Sovietskik Socialistisku Respublik, which in English translates to the Union of Soviet and Socialist Republics, USSR. Notice that the direct translation of Soyuz is Union, which is also the same name of the rockets used by the Soviet Union, and now even today still, the Russians. And it's the name of this mission, the Apollo Soyuz Test Project. Now, I also had a bit of fun deciphering the rest of the text on the stamp. And you can see here, this is pochta, which is post or mail. And this sentence translates to promotional flight of Soyuz and Apollo ships, I think. So this moment, this imagery of two spaceships connecting above the Earth is on a lot of stamps. And it's not just Russian stamps. I found American stamps. Uh, here's one from Poland. Here's a set from Burundi. And Mozambique for the win here. Look at this souvenir sheet with some very impressive artwork. Now, I really had no idea about what this moment was until I pulled the stamp from the box and did some reading. And I can see now why this is such a celebrated event. So let's just start with a quick background story. In 1957, the USSR surprised the world by successfully launching the first man-made object into the Earth's orbit, Sputnik. This satellite was not only a massive achievement, it was seen as an enormous threat to the United States as this was at the height of the Cold War between the two superpowers, and this kicked off the space race. Space was seen as the next frontier, and the Soviet Union very much now had the lead. Uh, something like Sputnik could one day be used for spying or potentially launching weapons. And while the United States played catch-up, the Soviet Union continued to have firsts, such as the first animal in orbit, or the first man in space. They also had the first two-man and three-man mission, and the first woman in space, as well as the first space walk. They were really leading the space race the entire way, until the United States successfully orbited and then landed on the moon. And this actually brought the end to the space race in 1969. Just look at the amount of space stamps I was able to find. And this pile is from the USSR alone, but you'll be able to find space-themed stamps from countries all over the world. And you can probably put together a very detailed timeline of all the events during the space race just by finding stamps about the missions, people, and vehicles that were used. All right, let's go back to the mission that we pulled from the box. Just six years after the space race came to an end, the Soviet Union and the United States take part in a joint mission. Once rivals, they are now partnering for a common purpose, and that purpose was to test the ability of docking the American Apollo and Soviet Soyuz space capsules. This could be very useful should an emergency rescue mission be required. Also, it's setting up for other future potential joint missions, as well as the International Space Station. This set of Russian stamps was issued back in 1995, and is artistically displaying the Apollo Soyuz mission at the bottom, paving the way for the American space shuttle Atlantis to dock with the Russian space station Mir. This happened that year. It's also very symbolic of the political climate, as the two world powers are now starting to work together during this stage of the Cold War. So July 15th of 1975, the Soviet Soyuz rocket, with two cosmonauts on board, takes off from Kazakhstan. Just seven hours 
hours later, a Saturn 1B rocket with three astronauts on board take off from Florida. Four, three, three two, engine one, sequence start. Zero. One, zero, launch commit. We have a liftoff. All engines building up thrust. And then just three days later, the two crews successfully dock their space capsules and share a historic handshake. Less than five meters distance. Three meters. Three meters. One meter. Contact. Contact. Capture. We also have capture. Roger, Tom. We'll pass it on. While together, they took tours of each other's spacecraft, uh, dined together, and exchanged gifts. They also received calls from the leaders of both nations. New possibilities are opening up for fruitful development of scientific cooperation between countries and the peoples in the interests of, of peace and progress of all humanity. It's taken us many years to open this door to useful cooperation in space between our two countries. This mission was a massive success. The amount of engineering and collaboration that took place was enormous. Scientists and engineers from both nations had to work together. Uh, the cosmonauts and astronauts had to train together. It truly was a beautiful moment. Oh, and one more thing. Artists from both nations worked together to produce a set of stamps. And you can see that the stamp I pulled from the box came as a set of two. And the United States that same year issued stamps that had the same images. One of the images was produced by a Soviet artist. Uh, that's the one with the two capsules just slightly apart. And the other image of the two capsules docked together was produced by an American artist. So you could argue that these stamps were involved in this joint mission of bringing the two nations together. Keep a look out for other stamps that captured this exact moment and definitely go read up more about the mission. Please help promote the channel by liking and commenting below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.